Well, today is a big day for thousands of families in the East County. It's the first day of classes in the Grossmont Union High School District. And News 8's Chris Groh is live at Mount Miguel High School in Spring Valley with what families need to know. Good morning, Chris. The calm before the storm. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Eric and Stella. And look, some of these kids, this might be the first time in a little while that they've been going to in-person learning because this was a hybrid approach in the previous fall. So this is a lot of excitement, maybe even a little bit of nerves for those entering high school for the first time. But still, this is going to be an exciting first day of school for a lot of kids in this high school uh, district. Now, what we do have to address, though, the fact that the coronavirus pandemic is still very much going on and school looks a whole lot different than from when we went to high school or from when even maybe some of these kids were last in classes. Masks are going to be required. They must be worn by everyone when indoors. That's teachers, that's staff, and that is students. Many of the same cleaning protocols are going to be in place from the last September from when they started that in-person learning. And if someone tests positive, they must quarantine along with close contacts. Now, when we last checked the Grossmont Union High School District numbers, only five cases currently at uh, in the district. However, that's before we have these large type of communal gatherings, which of course is going to be class and things like that after school activities. So it is something that we will be keeping an eye on as we move forward. But when speaking with Superintendent Teresa Kemper about the return and how parents and kids are handling, for instance, the wearing of masks indoors and that mandatory nature. She says that she believes the district is handling it well because at the end of the day, they know it's being done for the right reasons. We are very happy that we have the opportunity to have school open. I mean, students who were in person last year wore masks all year, along with many other guidelines. And so we're happy that masks this year allow us to start school in person every day with all students. And there is an independent study option available to students if their parents do choose that. Now, it's not the same as a hybrid model, but it does give them an opportunity to be a little bit more secluded potentially than going back to in-person learning. Eric and Stella.